Two anchors on camera, live, unrehearsed. That's what you see each morning on WSTX. What you don't see is all the work that goes on behind the scenes of the TV studio. I'm the director here at WSTX. I uh, pretty much lead the show. Most of the time I do the upstairs in the control room and monitor the machines like the switcher and the audio. Uh, Brian Wiseman is my assistant. He's the assistant director. He works down here on the main floor and uh, he coordinates all the stuff that goes on during the show. Basically help the director, hence the name assistant, and when he's upstairs doing his stuff, I'm down here making sure the camera shots are right and the announcers or whatever Logan wants to call himself is doing the right thing. Every day we use about 10 people for each show. Uh, we schedule a few extras just in case someone's absent, but uh, it takes about uh, 10 to 12 people for each show to, to put it on. Well, in the mornings, things are a bit chaotic. We have people running all over the place and trying to get things together. The, the bulletin, we have to get that emailed every day uh, over to the studio and put on the teleprompter for the anchors to have it ready in the morning. We have to get our quote of the day ready. And all, the, all those things just make it sort of chaotic in the morning. But somehow it, it, it comes together and, and we get things done. It, it just sort of turns out well every day. The hard work has paid off. In April, the students go to the Kentucky High School Journalism Association Convention and Awards Banquet, where they have placed first in 1999 and second in 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003. As if these awards are not enough, they've also won Western Kentucky Film Festival awards and many international awards. For the last two years, uh, I've entered some of our work in uh, some national competitions. These are the Tele Awards and the Aurora Awards, these are both professional competitions. Uh, we won two Tele Awards last year and an Aurora Award, and then another Aurora Award this year. And in fact, the Aurora Awards last year, we were the, we were the only high school in the world to win one of those. Other winners of the international awards include CNN, MTV, and the History Channel. To produce something good enough for competition, it takes a lot of time. For this story alone, over four hours of writing, filming, and editing occurred. The hard work pays off when your story hits the air. For WSGX News, I'm Kevin Holzman.